Hello, Hofstra fans, and welcome to the W. Mason Coach Report with head volleyball coach Emily Mansour. Coach, welcome. Thank you, Stephen. Coach, coming off a perfect 3-0 week, three wins, five days, just really a uh, season-defining week for you guys as you head into the stretch run here coming down to the conference tournament. Uh, what would you take from last week? Uh, great improvement uh, by our team. Different student athletes took charge, which was really nice to see, and as you say, just very important to be able to take that 3-0 and and win the three matches uh, this past weekend. And uh, you got off the week off to a perfect start, actually perfect, 3-0 and wins versus Northeastern and Charleston uh, in such a busy week with so many matches in a short amount of time. Did you find that as important as others did maybe that to get off to those hot starts and win those matches quickly? Oh, absolutely. Uh, and it was really important for us to not go five sets and to be able to save our legs a little bit because, as you said, it's three matches in a very short period of time and a lot of jumping, a lot of moving for our ladies. And it was big to be able to save those sets uh, going to our last match. And then Sunday, you mentioned at the last match, a five-set match against UNC Wilmington where you, you, just, you rallied like on multiple occasions. Both the, the, You won the third excuse me, the fourth and fifth set, you rallied in the fifth set, rallied in the fourth set. Um, what'd you take from your team? We'll get to the positive and negatives individually there, but uh, you had to like the fight you saw your team in that match. Yeah, I think Wilmington played a very nice match. Uh, as you said, the best that we took out of it was the fight. It was being behind on the fourth set, 23-21, and being able to pull that win and being able to close and win a pretty tight match, I think 17-19 uh, on the fifth set. So it just showed character and showed maturity growing from our team and our student athletes. So that was the good thing that I saw from that match. And we'll get to the more of the good, uh, you had a player of the week name this week and how big of a week she had. But you had a couple real performances in that Wilmington match that played a role. Athena Dimitriadis with some kills late in the fifth set. Anna Martinovic with four kills late in that fourth set. In a match that maybe Laura overshadowed everybody because of how well she played, how important was the contributions of those two? It was huge. And for Anna, it was really important because she had a pretty tough match. It wasn't her best. She played really well the last two. And that match, I would say, was her weakest performance. But for her to really be able to take herself out and to grow towards the end of the match was huge. And it's exciting for us to see, hey, she started not really good, um, but she finished uh, a good match. So that was very important for Athena as a freshman coming in and taking two huge swings to finish the match was very important. And uh, as you said, they are growing, and I think that's the biggest thing for us. And speaking of growing, we just mentioned her, Laura Mashulo. Uh, it was really that prototypical career week that kind of she's showing this team and this program time after time during her incredible career. She had 26 kills in the Wilmington match and just and hit 410 for the week. Uh, it was like I said, it was one of those weeks for her. Uh, what did you see? Did, has something clicked for her that's gotten her to that level again, or what did you see? This is our Lau Laura. This is our uh, our captain, our last year player. This is what we expected from her. So it's really, really nice to see her having such great performance because we know it's in there and it just had to come out and start to become a little bit more consistent again. And she did as she did for the three matches and she's going to continue to do for the season playing the different position because right now the CSU will play some matches outside, she'll play some match right sides and she's just getting comfortable to make the switch middle of the season. And we constantly mention her numerous times this year. Uh, she kind of gets overshadowed by everybody else's performance, but Louisa said like another outstanding week. Uh, I think what really gets overshadowed because everyone sees how good of a setter is, is that she's probably one, your best defensive player, if not one of your best defensive players. Uh, what are you seeing from her development as she kind of nears the end of this spectacular career? The hardest working student athlete we have had for four years. Uh, and it doesn't matter, like this year she is pretty much the only setter running because we changed the position of our other setter and she has not taken a day off. She comes in earlier than everybody. She stays later than everybody. And her work ethic is unbelievable. And it really pays off, as you said. She doesn't get the 
the glory of it, but we know and we value and we know nothing's possible without Louisa. And she's really just an extremely hard worker and a wonderful person to have on the team. And this week you go on the road, uh, James, excuse me, Delaware first, then James Madison. Really important week. The conference standings are a complete jumbled mess. Um, what are the keys to victory this weekend? Hofstra Volleyball really playing the game that we know how to play. Minimize our errors. Every team is going to be good. Every team is going to challenge us. But we need to stay composed and we need to make sure we control what we can and let them earn their points. But we got to control our side of the court. Well, Coach, we wish you good luck this weekend. Safe travels and good luck at uh, Delaware and James Madison. Thank you very much. And thank you for joining us in the W. Mason Coach Report with head volleyball coach Emily Mansour.